Hello, gorgeous, stunning, beautiful person that's watching me right now. I have no idea what you look like, but I'm sure you look incredible. Oh, sometimes I wish I could actually see your faces. It's like not as fun. It would also be really nerve wracking seeing like a million plus faces watching me. That's a lot of people. I should stop talking about this because now I'm getting anxiety. Oh, there's a lot of people watching. Hi, I'm Brad. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, we're watching people follow my wolf cut, shag cut tutorial. When people follow my tutorial, it makes me happy when things go right. Let's hope for the best. This video is by That Pink Welsh Girl. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a shag haircut today. I watched one of Brad's videos on how to do it yourself. First, he said to start off with wet hair, so I'm gonna wet my hair. I'm just gonna brush it like upside down like this so I can get it as high as I can. I think a shag haircut is going to look incredible on her. She can definitely pull off that like 70s retro vibe and I am so ready for her to do this. I hope she cuts the layers really short because I feel like she can handle it. She can handle that really heavy layered top half of her hair and then have the rest of her hair be really long. Like I just, I'm getting a vibe. Also like a short curtain bang with a beautiful blowout, that is what she should have. Now it's sorted and I've brushed through it so it's pretty straight now. Ooh, those dead ends need to go. And I'm ready to see them drop to the motherfucking floor. Now do a high ponytail and next is pray to the hair gods. <sighs> hair gods, please don't let me f*** this up. <laughs> I said if you don't want to get rid of the length, get a piece out here at the back. Hair goes up to basically by here. I don't know if I should go that short. You definitely don't have to go that short. That would give you like maximum, maximum layers and maximum shag. But I think you should just go up a little bit higher than that. Guys, you can always take more hair off later. So let's take off a little bit of hair, let it all down, look at it, vibe with it, put it back up, and then cut some more if you want to. Cut off that much. I just go for it, I'll just go for it. No, is she really gonna do that? I might just do it downwards like this, actually. Wait, did she, holy sh Oh my God, 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 oh my God. This is what I'm influencing people to do now. I'm sorry if it comes out good, I'm not sorry. That was so much hair. Okay, let's see how it went. <gasps> I can't believe I just did that. I can't either. I was not expecting that much hair at all. It has to be straight at the top, so I'm just gonna fix <laughs> that. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, let's take it out. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I think I could go shorter. What? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. You think you can go shorter? We just took off like seven inches. Okay, so I cut off a short bit more. I'm sorry I'm being so dramatic. This is a genuine reaction. I am baffled. Okay, after you cut it, take out the hair, middle part, section front part from behind the ear. This is the hard part that people just like tend to skip, but it's an important part. To even things out and give yourself some nice face framing layers. You got a section off the part on the side behind the ear. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Yeah, solid part with your hands. We got this bit. Just gonna comb that out a bit, bring it to the side here, and cut it. Oh, we're getting rid of a lot more. Y'all are really brave. Like, I'm really not sure if it's gonna look great, but like you doing it with like literally no hair experience, you must be like freaking out a little bit. Like, what if this just totally goes south? Oh, mm, okay. Well, that wasn't exactly how you do it, but that'll work. Next time, uh, don't do that, but it's one way. This just helps shape the face a bit, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, don't take that piece off. We're gonna get a little bit of disconnection there because we're uh, kind of taking random pieces off. Next time, bring all the hair over and cut a straight line down. And don't take off that length at the end. And now you got a bit of face shape there. Wow, what are you doing on that? That's fun though. I hope she has a good blowout at the end. Like I want to see a, I want to see a look happen at the end. I want to see all the looks. So far, this is a look. Now the hard part: repeating on the other side and making everything even. Hair gods, please be with her. The struggle. It's also really hard to do the other side because it's like, you know, your non-dominant side usually. You usually start with the dominant side. So you're like, how do I maneuver this to make it work? Like, it gets difficult. She is just getting rid of all the length. We don't need it. Yeah, get rid of it. All right, so she's cleaning everything up, putting everything together. I'm gonna just go dry my hair and I'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know. This is what it looks like straight. Brad said to get a pair of these. They know like chunks that are like chunky. Ooh, she has thinning shears too. This is getting interesting. More and more interesting as we go. I like you. You're cool.
Sorry, I forgot where I was for a second. This is really great that she's thinning it out because she has pretty thick hair and she needs to blend, 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 blend for your life. Her hair looks so much more full and so much thicker. And oh my God, she has like a haircut now. I love it. This is how much hair I cut off. Now it's time to dye the hair and I'm using this one. Okay, so now she's coloring her hair a box dye, which I'll ignore for today. I hope this is semi-permanent. It looks like it's permanent. Great. We don't need permanent color over that already lightened hair, do we? Have you learned anything from me? Oh my God, I'm so excited to see the final product with everything put together. Obsessed. Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, it's so much more exciting. I'm not very good with the hair dye, so some bits were missed, but I don't really care. It's the haircut that I love. Oh. I wish I freaking love this haircut. I feel like this is me, you know? If Brad happens to be watching this, hi. Um, I love you. I love you. And I hope I did it justice. You might be watching this being like, oh my god, that looks awful, but... I think it looks good. Hey, why am I emotional today? Ew! It's been a really tough week. And that was just so cute. Some girl in the UK that followed my tutorial and got a beautiful haircut that she likes. This is why I do my job. Love the haircut. The color. You definitely missed some spots, but I like the purple vibes. I wish you did like a blowout. Even using curlers and like, I just want to see that mega volume and those flipped ends. It would bring the entire cut together. Like, I want to see those layers like, mm, you know, like all that... I wanna see body, I wanna see movement. But other than that, you did a great job and you really went for it. And thank you for following my tutorial. You're great. And thank you for making me cry for no reason. This video is by Vicky Powell. Go Vicky, go Vicky. I already have quite short hair and I've already got these little curtain moments. I'm just gonna keep giving myself some layers so that my hair literally doesn't look like. First thing I need to do is wet my hair. Okay, right away, the length of her hair is not totally ideal for a wolf cut. Usually like a wolf cut is pretty long and really shaggy and really short up top, really long down here, kind of like mullety, you know? So like, we're not gonna get exactly a wolf cut vibe here, but hopefully you can get some layers in that hair because it needs it. It needs a little pick me up. My hair is wet. Yes! That is a win for me because people never wet their hair before they cut it and you should or you should straighten the shit out of it until it's really straight. Unless you have curly hair, then don't do that. But anyways, you get what I mean. How beautiful. Shags are all great right now. We have these layers sitting about right now. Okay, let's do it. Straight hair, but it will give you beautiful amounts of body and it's so awkward watching people watch me. It really is. Would rate it a one out of 10. That's a good uh, ponytail though. Brad Mondo was saying this is easy. Um, that's because Brad Mondo is a literal hairdresser. Little me is not. Um, I think I'm gonna cut off this much. Okay. Okay, it's too late to back up now. We're doing it. It's a decent amount of hair. I think that'll be good. Like not too much, not too little type of vibes. Like right in the middle, like a good sass. Shark off a bit more. I'm literally unstoppable. Hell yeah, you are. Ooh, that was a whole like three inches there. I'm proud of you, girl. I think this is a good idea. I'm just literally chopping my hair off. But it's still like, should we just take it down and see how it looks? Yes, this is always a good idea to stop, see how it looks, and go back and do more, rather than just do it all at once. I need to brush it. Don't think I cut enough off. Guys, that didn't do anything. So I'm gonna have to do it all again. Guys, we can cut a lot more. The back of my head literally goes to like, we can cut a lot more off. We're gonna cut a lot more off? Actually, now that I think about it, you definitely should, because your layers are not there. It's not giving layers. Brad Mondo said no bumps, but I actually can't help what I've got. Um, so this time around, I um, before I put the hair up like when it was brushed back i felt like where the end ponytail like the end bit of hair is and it's quite far up so we can do it a lot more this time how much yeah oh, oh. i'm scared to do that oh eee. Eee. that's a lot of hair i hope i didn't sway you in the wrong direction okay put the scissors down it's getting a little scary and a little rocky here we gotta move on to the next step the back isn't back hasn't has nothing's happened i swear it worked you just need to like pull the the, the pieces at the top you're like pulling your length and being like it doesn't work it didn't work you gotta blow dry it you know you gotta get that whole visual going the shortest pieces are gonna be all the way at the top there are layers just not at the back okay we're going in with no technique 
we're just gonna cut. This is an important part, okay? If you've watched my tutorial, this part where I pull it all forward and I cut, and you pull it all forward and you cut and cut, gives you beautiful layering around the face as well as just more shagginess in the back. When I wanna shag, I wanna shag. We've done it. I've, I can feel a few more layers in. She's just like pulled a bunch of pieces and just started cutting them and she's like, okay, great. I can feel a few more layers now. What the fuck accent was that? Like, that didn't even know. I actually decided I'm gonna make my bangs a bit shorter. I'm just gonna cut a tiny bit off each end because I just feel like they're getting really long. No, oh, we're back cutting more. I thought we were done. It's a look and let's not make it not a look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, stop. We've added bangs. <laughs> Going in and cutting more now that it's dry. <laughs> you guys are always doing the most. What? The way she's holding these scissors gives me a panic attack. Literally upside down, backwards, twisted. I don't even know how she's holding them. Wait, did we literally succeed? I think this is more of a cut and man moment than a or a shag because my hair is too short. We got it and we're happy with it. So that's the most important part. So I hope you enjoyed it. I want to see it curled. I want to see it styled. It actually looks like she did pretty good layers in there. And it's looking a bit more rounded and a bit more voluminous and a bit less heavy on the bottom. And she took a lot of hair off. Vicky, I went on your Instagram and I stalked you a little bit just to see your hair styled. And it's so cute. Like we can see a little layering in here. I'm living for it. So good job. I'm glad I could help you on that journey a little bit. You kind of didn't really follow my directions, but that's okay. This video is by Angela. La 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 I think that's how you pronounce her channel name. So this is my hair before. Another short haircut. We're trying to do the shag. I need more length in here. Peter, get the length. I have to wet my hair. Right. Wet the hair. Check. I can die happy now. Don't kill me, anybody, though. I'm not ready to die. Ponytail, which I already started working on. I try to do the highest ponytail possible. It's really important that the ponytail is high up. Uh, it's that looks horribly painful. I'm sorry. I feel like I had a part in that pain. There you go. No bumps. Ooh, how much is she gonna take off? That's the question. They always seem to do more after. She's taken about two inches off. Okay, I think she needs to do more than that next time. I want more, I want everything, come on. Give it to me. I have to part my hair in the middle and then continue the haircut. Now we're on to step two, which you have to bring all the hair forward and cut the angles in the front. This is an important part, but people tend to just never do it. People just like skip over my tutorials and like just follow the parts that they want to follow. It's so painfully annoying and then they wonder why they didn't come up with a good result and then I am blamed for everything. My life is so hard! I see some layers here. I'm gonna part it like here. Ooh, beautiful parting and beautiful job bringing it forward like that. Yes, and she's getting rid of length, like a good amount. That looks beautiful! All right, man, you bring the hair from the top of the head. Got it. I want to Oh, all right. That's definitely like another way of doing it. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, she can totally do that. No, it's really not bad. I'm just trying to process it. She didn't have much layering in the back. So she ends up just taking a section up here, bringing it to the top and cutting it. It might give you a little bit of like stairs doing it like that, but it could be fine. And she did need a little more layering back there. I will agree with that. It's just hard because it's not gonna blend quite well. We have really short layers and then like nothing in between. That's the issue. You're gonna have to like pull it to the side, cut, put a little more up, cut, pull it all the way to the top and cut. That'll give you like a nice rounded graduation of layering instead of just like a short piece and long pieces. But I feel like I need some more layers here. So I'm gonna bring up more hair. I'm glad she noticed. And cut the pieces. And now she's connecting the shorter layers with her longer hair, which is such a good idea. Yes, you're killing it. Ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, shit. Oh, and she's cross-checking her haircut. Oh, whoa. I think I'm gonna air dry it and then come back when it's dry. And now the best part of all, we got to see it styled and see the finished result. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Yes. It turned out cool and I will definitely keep cutting my hair 
this way from now. Thank you. Dude, that looks phenomenal. Like it could not have come out any better. I love this cut on you. The shag looks beautiful. And I'm glad I had some part in that. That looks great. Bravo. Well, those shaggy badaggies, the wolfy cutties <laughs> were not great, but good. And I'm glad I could be here to help and support. I'm glad it worked out fine and nobody had any like meltdowns. That would have felt really bad for me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Fawn. And she says, um, wow, what should I do with my hair next? Or should I leave it alone? This blonde is giving for me. I would love to see you with a center part with a curtain bang, like right to here, you know, like a good sweeping curtain bang. I like the color a lot. Maybe just like bringing the root down, giving it a little more dimension at the top would be really fun. But other than that, I quite like the look. It makes you look very edgy and mysterious. If you guys would like to check out me anywhere else, here are my social media handles. Also, you can check out my hair color brand and my hair care brand linked below or at xmondohair.com or go to our Instagrams and you got some hair inspo, whatever you want to do, you know, live your extra hair life. And you can also check out more videos of mine over here. You can do a little subscribe over there. You can do another video over here. And there are all ways that you can binge watch some more videos and we can hang out more. And if you're not subscribed, <laughs> Subscribe, do it, or else. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.